Hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft Bedrock tutorial. As you probably can tell, I'm not in my redstone base. Now if you follow me on Twitter, you'll know why. Basically I was helping someone out with redstone and I had to download the beta version and it deleted all my Minecraft worlds. They're all gone. So that includes my redstone testing world, everything like that. It's all gone. So my redstone base, which has been through, you know, it's been through a lot with me, two whole videos. It's just gone completely, never to be found again. It's just sad. I think, you know, to make it up to it, I need to give it a proper send off. Just be warned, this could get very moving. Hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft Bedrock tutorial. In this video today, I'll be showing you how to make First, like this, facing upward. One here, a hopper going into that bottom dropper. Now I'm going on top of this dropper, press crouch. Tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video or like the design, please give us a like. <laughs> Can't believe it's gone. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I am in the process of making a new redstone world, so if you want to see how that progress is going, give me a follow on Twitter and you can see the progress. But anyway, let's get on with today's video. So today we have a great design for a Minecraft portcullis. And a portcullis is just a fancy word for saying the castle gate you see always on the front. If you've seen any films, you've definitely seen one of these. So we flick the lever and you can see our gate goes up. And then we flick the lever again and our gate goes down. And as you can see, we have no redstone showing, and also it doesn't use sand or gravel. It actually uses full blocks. Now that's better because at the moment, especially in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, sand and gravel is very temperamental. Sometimes it will break, sometimes it won't. It's just better to use full blocks. Now another great thing about this design is its versatility, because if we want to make it a bit more fancy, like with this glass door here, exactly the same use of redstone, we flick the lever, it goes up again, no redstone showing, flick the lever again, and it goes down. And if you want to go full on castle, <laughs> you can build this monster of a thing. Obviously, I'm not going to do a tutorial on how to build all this. You can just have a look for yourself. We flick the lever. Again, the redstone is exactly the same. Goes up. Again, no redstone showing. Flick the lever again, and it goes down. I absolutely love this design. <laughs> so, without forever goo, a goo? Without forever do, that's better. <laughs> Let's get on with this tutorial. So I'm going to be showing you how to make a five wide design, but this design is completely tileable. So if you want to make it a little bit wider, you can, and just follow the numbers in the brackets if you want to add another unit, as it were. So for this build, you are going to need 15 sticky pistons, 10 regular pistons, 11 observers, 16 redstone dust, 5 redstone blocks, 5 trapdoors, 9 redstone torch, 20 blocks of redstone to go on, 4 slabs, 1 dropper, 3 hoppers, 1 comparator, one rubbish block, what I mean by that is a block to go in the dropper hopper circuit, one lever, however many blocks you need for the door, because I don't know how wide you want it, so you can use fence, glass, whatever you want to use, and then however many blocks you need for decoration. Okay, to start, place five of your flooring blocks like this, so these are the blocks where I actually are going to go up in the air. Then on top of them, place your fence or glass or whatever you're using, and go up three, then go along, like that, then place your other blocks on top like this. Okay, now come underneath this bottom block, come out three, move the first two, sticky piston here and here, redstone torch here, observer facing upward, into another flooring block. Then place the block here, one more out and another one, remove the first two, sticky piston facing inward, block of redstone here. Block here, remove this block, and dust. Trapdoor here, remove that block. Observer here, and then a block here. And then all you have to do is copy this four times more. 
So you can, this is the unit and this is completely tileable so you go all along as wide as you like. Okay, like that. Okay, the next thing to do is come over to this right hand side and place a dropper facing upward on the side of this sticky piston, like that. Crouch and place a dropper here, dropper facing downward, and a dropper to the right, like that. Then place a block here, comparator, block, then a torch. And it should be like this. Then place a, a rubbish block in here. Then it should retract. Place a block here and then a lever here. So when we flick this lever on, we should see a double extension and then retraction. Okay, now we need to do the closing circuit. So come up to this top block here and come up three. Just remember your door should be open at this point, so it's two above. Then regular piston here and one more, then go along like this, like that. Place a block here, then slabs like this. Place a block here, and then grab some decoration blocks and place them along like this to there. Redstone dust all along here. Observer facing upward here. Whoops. <laughs> block here, and then redstone dust like that. Then place a torch here. Should turn on if your lever is off. Block, torch, block, torch, block, block here, dust, then dust and then it should close. So now when we flick the lever, it should open. And then we flick the lever again, and it should close like that. So now we can just hide everything away with our decoration blocks, and you can make it as pretty as you like, or just leave it like this if you want to. <laughs> just something to bear in mind if you're making this portcullis taller, like the one, the far one over there, you can't go more than three torches up. If you want to go taller, you will need to make a slab line up. Otherwise, uh, this piston will not retract before this piston starts to extend and it will break. It will only go up one block. So just make sure you don't have any more delay than three torches. And this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video or like my design, please give us a like. And if you really loved it, make sure you subscribe with that wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. And I'll see you later. Bye.